Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you are doing well and today we have got a truly amazing breathtaking piece by one of the greatest sites that's ever existed. It's the site called the Mary Sue. I think it takes a lot to name your site after a, a character trait who uh, of a person who is good at something with no explanation and I think that really does fit in a very good and real way what this site is and I think that that kind of speaks for itself. The Mary Sue is indeed a Mary Sue. So anyway, what does it say? It says, no, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy does not need to retire. Yes, I have been waiting for someone to write an article just about this. I have been waiting for someone to talk about why Kathleen Kennedy is an amazing person, why she has been so good for Star Wars, all the amazing things that she's done. I cannot wait to read this. Kate Gardner, thank you so much. Uneasy lies the hand that holds the lightsaber. I think you're damn right about that. We're already off to a good start. Let's see what it has to say, though. There's a common cry among those who hate Disney's take on the Star Wars franchise, Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy must retire. I've heard that several times before myself. Never mind that she's one of the most powerful women in Hollywood or that she's helped produce countless beloved films. Never mind that she was hand-selected by the maker himself, George Lucas. No, she is clearly the root of all evil and must step down to let the nearest available white man take the job, since they will lead Star Wars back to the good old days where everyone except for the token woman is a white, uh, cis-shet, straight man hashtag make star wars great again okay i mean i think this is so i mean oh my goodness like i am just so amazed by this because she's absolutely right what we want what the true fans want is we we just want we just want a white man in charge that's all we want that's all we care about that's what all of this is about the fandom menace all that it is about is for us to want and to get a white male in charge of star wars again that is what that is the the end goal to all of this oh my Goodness, Mary Sue, my eyes are open. You have opened my eyes. Your ridiculous powers that you have for no good reason have opened my eyes to this. Yes. Oh, my goodness. How did I not see this before? Yes. Oh, wow. Man, I just, I never thought I was so blinded by by my own ignorance. I was so blinded by my own privilege that I just, I couldn't see that this is truly what every single one of us really wanted in the first place. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mary Sue, for, for opening up my eyes to this. Thank you. Oh, what else? What other things do we have to say here? Okay. Lucasfilm has some problems. Okay. I think, I think everyone can admit when they're wrong or when they have problems. I think this is something that's natural. I think this is something that a lot of people could, you know, admit to when, <laughs> you know, when they make mistakes. I think Ryan Johnson could admit when he's a, you know, he's a bad writer. He's done that before. I think that, you know, Ryan Johnson could even admit when he's made a bad film. I don't think he did that with Last Jedi, but you know what? You know, I think he's probably done it before. I think if you dug deep, maybe into those 10,000 tweets that he deleted, 20,000 tweets that he deleted, maybe there might be an apology in there somewhere. So yeah, everyone has problems. Let's see. It would be foolish to say they're perfect, and I personally have some issues that will be outlined in this article. I can't wait to find out what issues you actually have. I hope they're as good as some of the other issues I've seen by other people. Uh, let's see, but there is nothing so drastic as to merit a complete overhaul of leadership and handing the reins over to a far less experienced white guy. Yes, absolutely, because because they're a white guy, they're obviously less experienced than Kathleen Kennedy. That has everything to do, the, the person's race and gender has everything to do with whether or not they would be good at running in this universe of making films of producing films in the Star Wars universe that's the only thing that that really matters right right Mary Sue you're oh my goodness you're so spot on I'm loving this oh just because Luke Skywalker didn't pull a star destroyer out of the sky using the force doesn't mean the most powerful woman in Hollywood should retire that would be a huge mistake I agree I absolutely agree I think that Kathleen Kennedy has done so much good I mean, what did she do? What has she done lately? Oh, that's right. She greenlit a decision that lost Solo $200 million. Yes, she is obviously the one who should be running the Star Wars universe. She is the one that greenlit Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi that made $1.3 billion, which is so much money, guys. It's so much money. Yeah, it might be $700 million less than The Force Awakens did, and yeah, maybe it was a polarizing film that broke the fandom, but you know what? She still did it, right? She greenlit the decision. She, she, she's, a, she's a woman in Hollywood. And that's her only qualification. She's a woman in Hollywood. And you know what? That should be good enough for all of us. Because apparently the only thing that we really want is for a white man to be in charge. So, yes, absolutely. Oh, preach. Preach, sister, please. 
Usually when people cry for a replacement, they really just want their favorite Star Wars storyteller to take over. Makes sense. And don't get me wrong, if Dave Filoni were announced as the new president of Lucasfilm, I'd have one moment of shocked glee, as he is my all-time favorite Star Wars writer, and not for the Clone Wars for Rebels. Yes, you read that right. Interesting. Wow, okay. So she, she par- so the person writing this article apparently likes the more childish Rebels, which again is no problem with that. I've heard some lot, first of some really good things about Rebels, Clone Wars too. So I think a lot of people would be happy with that decision because, you know, at least he seems to love Star Wars and seems to have a real passion about it. But you know what? I'm sure, I'm sure she's going to get to that about, about Kathleen Kennedy, that she also has this tremendous passion for this project, a tremendous passion for this, uni- this universe, so that she's so willing to, to think, you know, 10, 20 years ahead instead of just giving films to random people, letting them tell whatever story they want, and for the story just to not make, not make any sense. Because, of course, that's not what we have. What's going, that's not what's going on with Star Wars right now, is it? But let's see. But Filoni, in all of his infinite talent, isn't necessarily a producer on the same level as Kennedy. I think you're, I think, again, it's, it's because he's a male. I mean, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's because he's a male, so he could not possibly be on the same level as Kathleen Kennedy. You're absolutely right on this. Let's see what, let's see what else, uh, what else he has, or what else he's lacking other than his gender. Uh, he'd be in charge of the entire studio rather than just the animation department, and that would mean his talents couldn't be focused on delivering awesome stories, but on making sure the entire place doesn't go up in smoke. You're right. You're right, because apparently no one can, you know, no one but Kathleen Kennedy can do that right. Because we're not seeing smoke already with Solo. We're not seeing smoke already with the Star Wars fandom. No, no, not at all. You're right. She's the only one. She is the one that we need right now. She, she is the light that we need to, 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 to shine upon all of us, to shine upon the darkness, to reveal the truth. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, Mary Sue, this is just amazing stuff. He is better off telling the stories than just producing them. Let him continue to make awesome animated series in peace, because if he doesn't get around to that Sabine or Ahsoka show, I'm going to write more angry articles. And really, do you want that? Does anyone want that? I don't think anyone wants any more articles, but you know what? Except this guy. I. Some people might say on the comments that they don't want you to write any more articles, that they think the Mary Sue should just go away, just like all Mary Sue characters in general. But you know what? I'll defend you. I think that Mary Sue is doing important work telling all of us that it is the white man that's the problem, that only white men can cannot be qualified for this work, and only women can be qualified to do these things. Yes, we need more articles like that, so please keep them coming. Some folks want Marvel head honcho Kevin Feige to take over. Very few want J.J. Abrams to take over, but he has his fans. I think that's a fair point. Are you noticing a trend here? Filoni, Feige, and Abrams, all are white men. Yes, you have hit the nail on the head. It's all because all we want are white men. It has nothing to do with the fact that that we just want Kathleen Kennedy gone and we don't really care, you know, that the people, not me, but the people out there just don't really care who takes over and maybe those are the names that are out there because they're the ones that have been time-tested. Yeah, sure, they've, they've, stood the, they've stood the test of time. They've done some great things. You know, Feige, he's made 20 awesome films in 10 years and has made billions and billions of dollars for, for Marvel and for Disney. And, you know, a Filoni, you know, he's only... Only the, the the writer the the lead person on one of the most successful Star Wars stories ever since the original trilogy and Abrams, I mean Abrams it wasn't enough for Abrams to try and save Star Trek but I mean he went out of his way to save Star Wars too so you're right they're not qualified you're right because they're white men they're not qualified Kennedy is heading up one of the most powerful studios on Earth and fanboys want her gone and replaced with a man yes yes. Thank you. That is the problem. That is the problem with this so-called fandom menace is that all they want is to replace this successful woman with a white man. That is all that the fandom menace wants is just that. Yes. Oh, preach it, please. This is either subtle or extreme sexism. There it is. Sexism. Yes, these these people are just sexist, including, you know, Ivan Ortega, including Jesse Milestone, Anna, Anna, that Star Wars girl, random game user. Oh, my God. All those women are just so sexist because they want a white man in charge of the Star Wars. That's all that they want. All they want are white men in charge. Yes. Breach. Oh, my goodness. This is fantastic. This isn't to say that Lucasfilm doesn't need a few tweaks. Let me hear. Let me hear what those tweaks are. There's some lack of continuity between the films. Yeah, just a little bit. You know, again, you know, you had the Force Awakens, which set up a lot of really cool things, and then you had the Last Jedi, which just said, "Screw all of that. I'm just going to go my own direction." And now Episode Three is like, oh, "What the hell do I do now?" But you're right. Just, just a few, just a few minor tweaks. A, a small lack of continuity is all that we see there. Depending on your opinion of the sequel trilogy, yeah, I can't think there's a lot of opinions out there. Several directorial snafus have occurred. Interesting, and no one can deny that Solo underperformed at the box office in comparison with the other films in the franchise. Yes, I mean, underperformed. I mean, some people just want to focus on the $200 million loss of the film, but in the end, it's just an underperformance. I mean, Star Wars is still fine. Star Wars is still making money. I mean, still, it almost made $400 million. It almost hit $400 million, and that's a lot of money. I don't have that kind of money. How can anyone say it's not a lot of money? You know, yeah, it might it might lose them $200 million in the long run, but you know what? No, 
It, it just underperformed. That's all that there is. Kennedy speaks about diversity, but has yet to hire a director or writer who isn't a white man, and all the female leads have a tendency to look a little like her. Oh, man, that's actually... I had no idea. I had no idea that they look a little bit like her. That's interesting. Is that just because she's a white woman, or is that something else? Look, please let me know more about this. Ah, this is great. But this is not a reason to call for her dismissal. No, you're right. This is not enough. It's not enough. $200 million loss. Again, firing directors in the middle of shoots, reshoots, all that stuff. No, none of that has – that. that's none. That has nothing to do with her. That is just not her fault at all, and she is not the one at top. She is – it does not – the buck does not stop with her. She is not the one held responsible for, no, for any of this. There is a reason to engage in discussion with Lucasfilm and push for change. The most powerful woman in Hollywood shouldn't be fired because she and her studio are still figuring out their new identity. Marvel had some missteps in those early years too, and yet no one called for Feige's removal. I wonder why. Yeah, I mean when, when Iron Man was coming out, that film that film had so many problems. I mean when, when Iron Man 2 and The Incredible Hulk, when all those films came out, I mean they were – you know, they made profit, for sure. They made profit. None of them lost money. In fact, a lot of them made, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. But you know what? You're right. I mean, there were problems. There really were problems in the very beginning that led to, you know, 20 films in 10 years. You know, we've only had, what, three or four films in the past five years, you know? So they, they still got time. They still have time. You're at, you're right about that. We need to give her more time. We need to let her be able to to, to open up her wings and become the butterfly that we know that she truly is. And, and you know what? Maybe if we just give her that chance, she can do that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Marvel, those missteps. Ah, I wonder why no one was calling for his firing. It has to be because it, like, spoiler, I think it's because he's a white male. I think that's the reason why. The problem is, is that we're not going, we're not giving Kathleen Kennedy the credit for helping bring the franchise back from somewhat dead. Instead, we're letting sexist critiques of her dom dominate the conversation. Don't like her for the lack of diversity behind the screen so far, or for approving the casting of a myriad of white brunettes, or for what happened with Lord and Miller. That's fine. Your complaints there are valid. But if you just want her gone because suddenly Star Wars is trying to be for everyone, then you're a part of the problem. Yes, because that's all, that is what we hate. We hate that Star Wars is trying to be more diverse. We hate that Star Wars is trying to expand to other people. It has nothing to do, nothing to do with any of these things that you're talking about. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is just, mm, this is wonderful. Oh, the article's over. Guys, I, I was, I thought that she was just getting to going about what problems were going on with Lucasfilm, but I didn't see any on there. Like, not really. I didn't really see any problems that she was talking about Lucasfilm. But you know what? She's right. There are no real problems with Lucasfilm. In fact, Kathleen Kennedy, she, she should just keep doing the things that she's doing. She could keep greenlining projects like Solo because eventually they'll make money. I guess. Maybe. What do you think? Guys, let me know. Do you think that Kathleen Kennedy, do you think that she should stay on? Look, there she is. There's our hero. There, There's our hero. Do you think that this white woman is going to be good for Star Wars. Do you think this white woman, because she is white and she is a woman, in fact, I don't know if you knew that enough, but I mean, I'm sure that, like, let me see, uh, Kate Gardner, yeah, I don't think, I don't know, Kate Gardner, I, I need to find it because she said it several times, actually, and yeah, I mean, uh, his, his fans, white men, I mean, all this has to do with gender and race, guys. All this has to do with gender and race. So guys, let me know, what do you think? Who do you think would be, what white male, or rather, who, other than a white male, would be the best person to take over for Star Wars? Please let me know. And also, guys, please check out the Mary Sue because, guys, if you want more content like this, you have to give them more views. You have to give them likes. You have to really try and support them. So, yes, please check out this article. Please read it over yourself and let me know your thoughts on it. And, guys, please, guys and girls, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. That was so ignorant of me. Guys and girls, please let me know what your thoughts on this are down in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it, guys. So, guys. Guys and girls, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.